since you are so, you say you're highly regarded, uh, your character's highly regarded from the, in the legal community, uh, do people actually, I mean, you know how TV viewers can be, do they actually ask you for legal advice when they see you on the street? I did have one instance, a neighbor uh, asked me a question about uh, rent laws and stuff like that. <laughs> I said, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> you're, you're barking up the wrong tree here. The well, last time I talked to you um, at the Cancer Ball, you yes. had just uh, gotten your girlfriend, but you don't have one anymore. Ah, uh, Jennifer, I tell you. Well, Jennifer was 26 years old and just graduated from law school. And uh, the feeling was that uh, Leland's credibility was being threatened by uh, having such a young lover. Well, how about getting the writers to get you a girlfriend your own age? I think it's a great idea, and I think everybody in America who likes Leland McKenzie should write to the producers of L.A. Law and say, hey, get this guy a woman. Your success on the show uh, has come pretty late in your career. Does that make it all that more um, enjoyable? Does it make you appreciate it more? I would think so. I had stayed away from uh, television series. Uh, most of my career was on the stage, and Broadway and off-Broadway and repertory or theater around the country and moved out to the West Coast in 73 and was fortunate enough to be able to do feature films and television films and I stayed away from the series and uh, somewhere in the back of my mind and the back of my professional feelings about it all I, I saw I thought well someday a certain good part's going to come along in a series that's going to have a chance of of making it for a few years, and uh, I just got to be available for that, and it, that's what happened. I'm an extremely fortunate man. 